All right, it is uh, three past the hour, so we should get started. Um, welcome everyone to the what seventh of June, two thousand twenty-three, barreling down towards the middle of the year. Um, hope everyone's doing well. In case you've just joined us, if you could please add your name to the attendees list here, that would be wonderful. And um, if we have any new members this week or anyone that hasn't introduced themselves and is now comfortable enough to, to speak up and say good day, then now is your moment to, to say that. And I'll take that as a no. Uh, okay, now, Normally we do the schedule check-in and we'll do it anyway, but let me just check to see who's here. Um, one of the items that we have on the agenda is the uh, request for postponing the V1 release. So I'm not sure how useful this will be, but let's have a look anyway. So I think yesterday we were supposed to have a feature freeze. And if anyone on this call knows more about this than I do having just come back from holiday, um, I would love to hear your thoughts and updates about this. Oh, excellent, okay. Well, it looks like the, thank goodness, the, uh, the one-stop shop for all things released looks like it has been updated. Um, it seems as though next Tuesday, been uh, feature freeze for the version 1.0 release it has been pushed back one week um, so we get to repeat what we said last week we've got approximately six days left until the feature freeze um, that probably takes care of our first point but just in case anyone here on the call does uh, want to elaborate or add to that um, if you could please um, pipe up that would be wonderful All right. In that case, I'm going to presume that the conversation on the um, the linked mailing list thread is um, has everything that needs to be said. Second point, and feel free to jump in at any point and and add anything. Or do we have the does Zoom have a hand raise function, or is that Google? Mail? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, okay. it has one underneath reactions, actually. Oh. Reactions. Oh, ah, good to know. Um, yeah, if you don't feel like jumping on the top of someone, then please use the more reactions raise hand function and we'll get to you. But we shall continue along for now. Um, so I've got the second point. Um, anyone who's been on this call in the last few weeks should be familiar with this. KubeCon China and KubeCon North America CFPs are both open. Um, all the information is in the Wiki events page. The CFPs both close on the same day. That's June 18th, um, but they are at different times. One is, uh, um, the one in China is September 26th, 28th, and the one in Chicago is in November 6th to the 9th. Um, and while we're here, I'll also point out that we have these links here. There's lots of regional events that come up. They're often uh, very hard to kind of keep up with and they're much smaller and very much city dependent um, so if you ever have 20 minutes um, free time in a week i highly recommend you browse through them and if something jumps up and you would like it you think it could be promoted or if you'd like some help writing a proposal then please hit me up and i can promote it and help you um, we will continue on nothing on the open floor so we'll go to pull requests uh, this is one of mine um, I got the stale mark this week. So I thought I would bring it up in this meeting in case someone can help me get this across the line. This is just updating the responsibilities doc for when we added the six storage meeting, which was, yeah, last year. Um, so if anyone in this call um, is able to have a quick look at that, uh, we had an LG DM, but I think they got taken away when the life cycle went stale. Um, that would be wonderful. I will 
We'll be back to seven on the call. And now this one, I believe, is from Daniel Hiller. Improving flag check pre-submit. Uh, I didn't see any comments on this earlier. Um, there are a couple of CCs. I, as I understand it, with regards to that V1 um, thing, some people might be very busy looking into that. Um, so if anyone else is able to take a look at this and is on the call. And yes. I see Miguel on the call. Let me let me just uh, let, just point out that um, sorry sorry to um, interrupt here. No 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 please please please. Okay, I was just wanting to to emphasize on that uh, that this uh, PR would uh, while it would increase uh, the uh, probability of finding flags by randomizing the test order. Um, so in order to uh, find order dependent flaky tests. Uh, it, on the other hand, it would decrease the number of overall runs that we have on, on that one. So it might cut down on using CI resources. So um, that's what one of the motivations is. So I saw an opportunity there. And it is not that big a PR, I'd say. There are only two files changed. And most of those are just um, uh, some tweaks of, uh, of uh, runs and, and a couple of uh, explanations of what I'm doing there. And aside that, there is a couple of things that I, I found while working on that. So that mm -hmm. there is a couple of uh, deprecated Ginkgo usages that I was uh, getting rid of and uh, replacing them by the new, um, uh, the new, uh, oh, so how it's done in the Ginkgo V2. So, um, that's just another thing I was wanting to um, wanting to emphasize. I hope that makes sense. That's awesome. Um, and yeah, thank you for adding that context because uh, yeah, uh, I'll add a, can someone please look at this because reducing CR load and improving this kind of stuff is extremely important to the health of the project and our day-to-day -day usage. Um, so if anyone has a chance and is a reviewer or an approver, then please look at this one. This is from our friends at SUSE, I believe. Um, Service monitor rules for Prometheus. Um, did I see? Um, so, if there's anyone from who works with the monitoring, I think I saw Joao on the call. Um, and Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, but um, all of this was initially related to like monitoring features. His fix was about uh, adding the ability to customize component uh, for Prometheus rules. So if you check the changes, it's more about uh, the patching logic and so on. So I don't know if we are the best. Uh, okay. I'm at least the best person to review it. Right? All righty. Thanks for the context. Um, is anyone on this call? Um, are they the best person to look into this? I can try to pick it up and try to follow up with someone just to move forward with it. That would be amazing. Thank you. I've got one for what looks like storage. And did I happen to see Michael Henriksen on this call? Oh. 
selected. All right, allowing Lundis to map to data volume sources. Yeah, this uh, is something that we've been talking about for a bit. Um, I thought Alexander was maybe looking at it, but um, yeah. Are you uh, able to? It, it's uh, on the radar. It. It's on the radar. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. That's all I need to hear. Thank you. All righty. Um, we'll move on to the mailing list review. Um, this is just something that, uh, because of Chandler's most recent message, I wanted to um, keep on the radar because um, this affects everyone how the user guide is talked about being um, reorganized and restructured. And since everyone presumably uh, over time contributes to the user guide, it is important that we all understand how it is organized. Um, and yeah, I'd like to reiterate channels. We need to keep this thread going. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with this thread, um, please give it a quick look. Uh, I had a crack at trying to um, reorganize myself and create a PR, PR uh, with a preview to kind of click around. Um, if you love it or hate it, um, please have an opinion and share it. That's all I'll say on that. All right, bug scrub. Um, we've got this one should look familiar to anyone here last week. Unfortunately, it looks as though uh, my pinging people on the vert team did not land and we still have um, uh, no responses. It does have a lot of information. Um, I understand that they're probably pretty busy at the moment with that whole V1 thing. Um, but is there anyone on this call that might be able to help out with the vert handler and vert launcher pod? And their usage of an abnormally large amount of memory. If they seem like an abnormally large amount of memory. Anyone? Um, it would be nice to have the PPROF uh, profiling on, the, on those processes. Uh, may, maybe it can be reproduced with that. So I'll, I'll comment on it. Wonderful. Thank you. So what was it you called? PPROF? Yeah, it's a profiling thing for Go. Uh, tells you which what's using a lot of memory. Oh, cool. Thank you. We have another bug about metrics names. Um, about this one, uh, Avig is part of the monitoring team and she's working on the, the linter. She added on Qvirt monitoring and um, on the initial run, she found these problems with the uh, metric namings. Um, this is just stopped because we are still discussing how to move forward with the renaming, right? Because um, a lot of users of Qvirt are already using metrics with these names, so we can just go ahead and change them. Um, we are discussing uh, maybe we should um, flag these metrics as uh, deprecated and then create new metrics with uh, fixed names. So we are still uh, reviewing how to move forward with this. And then after that, we will work on fixing the problem. Cool, thank you. And I'm sorry, I um, I try not to bring up things that already have an issue related to them. And I didn't see that when I was doing this. So apologies mm -hmm. for that. And we have our last bug. Just make sure no one's come within the last few minutes and they have not. I'm going to start crash loop back off.
Right. Uh, does this speak to anyone on this call? I do notice that they're using a V1 beta kubelet version. Against 123 Kubernetes version. Is anyone able to pitch in and help this poor contributor? There, crash loop arrow. All righty, I'll have to start throwing it to specific people. All right, that brings us to the end of the bug scrub. Just make sure no one's added anything. All righty. Um, I will just sneak one last thing in while we're here, and that is it will be uh, KubeCon, no, so not KubeCon, KVM Forum, and DevConf next week. Um, both are in the Czech Republic. And in our community events wiki, we have all of the Kubert related sessions um, listed here. So if you are in the area or you are attending DevCon, um, uh, please add these to your schedule. And uh, I'll also highlight the uh, Kubert hackathon that we're running on Saturday afternoon. It'd be great to have a full room. And there will be, I believe, um, someone from the networking team is organizing delicious local snacks. So it'd be great to see you all there. Um, and I think I know a couple of people who will be there. Should be good. Um, if no one has anything to add uh, to the open floor or the agenda or anything else that's kind of want to bring up last minute, um, now, is the, now is the time to do it. And that's a wrap. All right. Thank you everyone for joining us and for looking into these uh, issues, pull requests, uh, mailing list, all of that. Um, have a lovely week, have a lovely weekend, and we'll see you all next week. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.